Someone stole the fat Jewish's book and posted I mean, it on Twitter. People, worst name ever. Just saying that. A I have very a problem with that. eccentric personality <laughs> uh, based out of New York that's become like a huge figure in the entertainment pop culture space because he's racked up like millions of followers on Instagram for basically reposting and like really started the whole posting memes, right? But then doesn't necessarily give credit to the people. So Twitter handle Updog7 basically posted, hey there, I wrote a book. And then he, they just posted each tweet's another page of the book. <laughs> So, I yes. gotta say, I gotta say, no, I gotta say though about that is like his he, you know, his defense is that he's an aggregate or whatever, and I think it's so weird how everybody's attacking this one guy, but like Facebook profits hugely <laughs> off of t taking other people's content and reposting without crediting. BuzzFeed does the same thing. I just gotta say, I think it was a it was an interesting thing to see everybody go after this one human just because they had one person they could point out who ran an Instagram account. And don't get mad at the it's it, it's just I just, think, think, it's I just think, don't you know, of like the bank yeah. like you have, you know that joke or whatever. There's like a banker and a and a worker and a, and and an immigrant at a at a table and there's 20 cookies on it and the banker takes 19 and then says to the worker that immigrant's gonna take your cookie if you're not careful. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's like the we just ignore the big person who does it and profits off it and screws everybody else. But if you have one person, you can make the villain who's like an easy target. That is a good point. Go I mean, it. I think that is a good point. I just I feel like the mob mentality that you were whispering about earlier. You know, the sort of mob mentality. There is this thing about like the internet is what you make out of it, and 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 for me, it's it. There is the thing about like show your worst, they'll love you online, and I'm just not into that. That doesn't that doesn't. Yeah, and he's gotten a lot yeah. of criticism from talent, comedians, and also I think it's just because he's making huge amounts of money off the popularity of this, and the first thing someone would say is like, it's a bit of a bitter thing. Like, how could you be making money off of this, and it's not even yours? Yeah. Monique, do you follow the fat Jew? I don't. <laughs> That's so weird. Every time I say it, I'm like, that doesn't make sense. If I said it to one of my friends that they were they were a Jewish no, and uh, really? they'd be like, they'd be slap me, you know. That was a highlight of the What's Trending podcast. Thanks to all of these folks from the fourth door right now on Verizon Go 90. Go check out the series. Of course, to listen to the entire podcast, we're on iTunes and SoundCloud.com slash What's Trending. We're doing a giveaway. If you like and rate us and comment on iTunes right now, they're Yay. gonna sign the sweatshirt and you can win it. Yay. So go do it now. <laughs>